By now, it's likely you've heard of Ozempic. Ozempic's being used by the rich and famous. The diabetes medication which has been making headlines for weight loss. But perhaps a lesser known fact is that Ozempic has ties to Canada. And well, if you can believe it, a lizard. Yep, that lizard, a Gila monster, which is a venomous reptile native to the southern U.S. I did basic science. I really had no idea where this would lead. In the 1980s, Canadian researcher Dr. Daniel Drucker discovered a hormone in the human gut. And it was a very powerful stimulator of insulin secretion. And very importantly, it only stimulated insulin secretion when the glucose was elevated. He and many other scientists were trying to figure out how to turn it into a diabetes drug. The problem was that manufactured samples dissolved too quickly. But Drucker had heard about a lizard down south whose venom had a similar hormone with more staying power. In the 1990s, there, were, there was no gene banks. You couldn't look stuff up online. You actually had to clone stuff. And in order to do that, we had to get lizard DNA. The Royal Ontario Museum gave that job to Bob Murphy. We arranged for the purchase of the lizard and its shipment as airline cargo to Toronto. Pearson, I picked it up. It paid off. Decades later, the medical community is taking the discovery to new heights. Not only is this technology being used to make Ozempic, treatments for Alzheimer's, addiction and heart disease are also in the works. Uh, the reality is that this is a, a very uh, strong network of scientists communicating and working together. Proving that breakthroughs can happen just about anywhere. It's having a huge clinical impact globally, which is just great to see as a physician. Catherine Ward, Global News, Toronto.